Hi, everyone, and welcome to day 25 of my 31 Horror Movies in 31 Days of May series. Today, I'll be reviewing a more recent film, and that is the movie Crawl. So Crawl is a movie that was released in 2019, and it's directed by Alexandria Aja, um, partially produced by Sam Raimi. And the movie stars Kaya Scodelario and Barry Pepper. So yeah, Crawl's a movie I actually picked up at Walmart for five bucks, so my expectations weren't terribly high going into it. But I did watch it for the first time, and I'll just kind of go through the setup and the premise first of the movie, and then I'll give you my spoiler-free thoughts and review about the movie. So, as I said, Crawl is a 2019 natural horror film, or nature horror film. Um, it basically, the plot follows Kaya Scordellario and Barry Pepper as a daughter and father who, along with their dog, are hunted by alligators after being trapped in their, after being trapped in their home during a Category 5 hurricane in the state of Florida. So a pretty, pretty simple plot and premise. Um, so Kaya Scordellario, she plays an aspiring swimmer named Haley Keller, who receives a call from her sister Beth. Um, who informs her that a Category 5 hurricane, Wendy, is on its way to Florida and advises her to get out of the state. Uh, but concerned by, the, concerned by the safety of her estranged father, Dave, Haley goes to check on him at his condo but finds it empty. She decides to check their family home in Coral Lake and goes against the instructions of Beth ex, Beth's ex-boyfriend, Wayne a member of the Florida Police Department, not to enter Coral Lake as it's flooding quickly. And, of course, she goes anyway, because we have to have a movie. Um, so at the house, Haley d discovers a crawl space underneath with the help of the family dog, Sugar, eventually finding her father unconscious. Uh, shortly after, the main exit is cut off by several large alligators, and the house begins to flood. So that's kind of where the movie takes off from there. So basically her and her father, her father is injured um his leg is injured they're stuck in this crawl space in the basement a basement that's flooded during a category five hurricane and on top of that you have alligators who are stalking them basically and cutting off their escape so i mean you could probably imagine it's i mean it's a survival movie obviously um you don't have to see it to know that you can just read the the premise so yeah um so yeah, that's what Crawl is about. That's sort of the premise. I don't want to go too much further than that. Um, so first I'll go into the pros of this film. First of all, I have to say that it might not say much, but this film did exceed my expectations, which were very low, honestly, going into it. Again, when you pick it up for five bucks in a Walmart bin, you're not exactly thinking this is going to be an Oscar-worthy movie. And granted, it's not an Oscar-worthy movie, but it is a good movie. It's a good movie for what it is. So um, the film knows what it is, and it doesn't pretend to be anything else like some horror films try to do. This movie knows exactly what it is and doesn't uh, doesn't try to fool the audience into to any weird twists or anything that don't make sound, sense. It has a simple concept with lots of actions and thrills. Um, it has good special effects, and I think the crocodiles look pretty good in this movie. I mean, sometimes they don't. It's obvious that they're CGI, but... Um, for the most part, it wasn't one of those where it completely takes you out of the movie because of how they look. They look well. They look good enough. I think they're. I think both performances by the two lead characters, and really they're they're the characters in the movie. There's about three or four other characters that were introduced to throughout the movie, but they're really just crocodile fodder, um, body count basically kind of characters. The movie's really led and and stars Kaya Scordellario and Barry Pepper. Um, as the father, daughter, Haley Keller and Dave Keller. Um, and I think they both do a really good job, especially Barry Pepper, who I've been a fan of for a while. I think he really does a good job as the father. And I think Kaya does a good job as Haley Keller as well, um, given the kind of movie that it is. Um, but it, it was a believable father-daughter relationship to me. So um, there's good suspense in the movie. And it's kind of nonstop, too, which is which is fun. There's really no wasted scenes, no cheap jump scares. Um, I think the movie looks good. The cinematography is good, especially as it relates to the storm outside. 
I think uh, some the camera work with underwater uh, shots are really good and effective. The movie has a good runtime. I mean, again, it's a it's a it's like a nature action horror flick, so it's not meant to be a two and a half hour movie. It's about an hour and a half movie, and it's actually just under that, eighty seven minutes, and it, that's good for this kind of movie. It's well paced, as I said, with really no wasted moments. And I think the the film has really good atmosphere throughout. It's just kind of a fun, um, suspenseful atmosphere, which is what you want in a movie like this. So, yeah, definitely a lot of pros. Uh, as far as cons goes, again, I mean, if you're if you're looking for a horror movie or a movie that's going to make you think, <laughs> or you know, you're looking for a movie with a twist, this isn't going to be the movie for you. The movie really is what the previews say that it is. It's kind of the movie that you expect with the. Uh, Somewhat predictable story and ending. Um, there's not a whole lot of graphic kills or gore, which I is actually, that's one thing I've heard from people that, you know, you get these alligators, a bunch of them. You, you kind of thought the kills were going to be a little bit more gory, especially given the director, Alexandria Aja, and some of his other films. Um, so that was one thing. Again, it didn't really bother me, but for some people that might be um, some, some, a bit of a con for them. Um, there's some logical issues in the movie, again, as there is in a lot of horror movies, the way that, like, people responding to injuries, like nothing happened. There's a character towards the end of the film that gets, gets their arm taken off and doesn't, just sort of doesn't really act realistically. They basically just go on as if they didn't need that arm, you know, where you'd be bleeding out or you wouldn't be able to get around as well, um. And there's plenty of horror cliches by the characters and their decision making. I won't give too much away, but as it relates to a phone or people just kind of holding their arm out or dangling over open water areas, it's like, come on. I mean, just, you know, it's like I said, horror cliches. But that's really it for my cons. Again, this movie is what it is. It's an enjoyable popcorn flick. I mean, I think that's a good way to describe it. Um, not overly gory, but very suspenseful, and and it looks good, and uh, and the performances by the two leads are good. So I'm going to go ahead and give Crawl a 7 out of 10. Um, I might even go 7.5 out of 10, because for what it is, I think it's effective at what it, at what it does, a lot more effective than other movies like this, um, like Piranha or something like that, Piranha 3, 3D. Um, I think this works a lot better. So seven and a half out of ten, I'm going to go with for this movie. I would I would recommend checking it out. Uh, don't need to go out and spend a lot of money. And I would say if you could find it at Walmart for five bucks or around there, like I did, I would. It's worth owning. It's worth having in your collection. Um, but I wouldn't spend twenty or thirty on it. So that's my review for the movie Crawl from 2019. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please comment below your thoughts on this movie. If you've seen it, please like um, this video and please subscribe to my channel to see future upcoming horror movie reviews, including my continuing 31 horror movie series of May. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.